My original sump by eShops that I love. And this was on my 75 gallon tank. And it's pretty simple. I like a lot of foam for mechanical filtration. So coming off the overflow on the right hand side, there's the overflow coming from the aquarium, 125 gallon tank, and it flows right into here. Ideally, I would like it to flow straight down. So maybe I will take this sump out because you see how the hose comes down on the other side of the sump and then comes up and then comes down. Ideally, I would like to have this connected right from there to there. So it's a straight shot down. So I would really only need like I mean that's gonna pull a lot more water because right now the water flow is going down then it's got to flow up then down if it was completely straight shot from there directly into there so like BAM it's going full it's just flowing right through so uh, it's gonna be pulling a lot more water faster than if the hose was you know coming down and then you're going up and then going down so the only thing i have in this thing is my protein skimmer the rotter tube it's a three inch clear pvc pipe stuffed with filter floss or foam i change it out once a week same issue here i've got the tube coming off the overflow it goes down then it goes up then it goes around and then it goes into this homemade thing which i'm going to get rid of today it's just a three drawer thing that keeps getting thrown off balance. I've got foam in here, foam in here, and then I've got holes drilled out of the bottom of each drawer. I just don't like the design, but I was trying and I've had it for months and it works well. A lot of salt creep on this thing, it's, it's ugly. I've got miracle mud in the bottom, which I'm gonna remove today. So when I'm all done, I'm gonna have no miracle mud and I'm just gonna have this tube flowing into the bottom of there. I've got an outlet strip on this side, powering everything. I've turned it off, so the water level's gonna raise higher. Um, the power head is not pumping water back into the tank. And the reason why, only this side's gonna be working now. When I start taking the Miracle Mud out of here, I don't want the power head to pump water, the dirty water that I'm gonna be churning up from the miracle mud being removed back into the tank so only the right side is going to be doing the job for the whole tank i scooped out all that miracle mud using those gloves i highly recommend those gloves this water reeked it was nasty it smelled like a protein skimmer canister because i disturbed that miracle mud all that miracle mud sand is out of there so I am going to leave this pump off because I don't want that stuff being pumped back into the tank. And uh, what I'm going to do is just siphon it out of there and then let fresh salt water fill that up when I do my water change. And then I'm going to just let this hose drop down there for now until I connect another rotter tube filter. So basically i'm going to have a pvc coming off the return and it's going to just drop down in through another rotter tube like here to filter out that water and this is just going to be like a water reservoir no more substrate no more sand no more none of that mechanical filtration is working nicely i've got it angled down a little bit towards the i've got it angled down that way so most of the water will go against the wall of the rubbermaid homemade homemade DIY um, sump and then the excess will come out the top here it won't overflow that'll filter the uh, solids out nicely so I can think of something better I just hated that Rubbermaid thing and it was time for it to go this is cleaner better and all that mud is gone you know what I would like to do is connect a canister filter possibly 
right to that PVC coming off the tank. It goes right into the canister filter and empties it right into this sump. That would be awesome. Anyway, project I didn't really feel like doing, but there you go.